Every day promises, July 10th, a new prayer. The effective, fervent prayer for, of a righteous man avails much. James chapter 5 verse 16. Prayer is a powerful weapon that can uproot the enemy's territory. Apostle Paul advises the new soldier to wear one more armor, that is prayer. He says in Ephesians 6, 18, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Dear friends, these are the days when God's people need to pray more. We need to change the gear of prayer. All these days it was on second or third or fourth gear. But now we got to put it on the fifth gear. Jesus himself set us a good example of prayer. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 7. Jesus prayed with vehement cries. Moses prayed lifting up his hand. Solomon prayed with outstretched arms. Nehemiah wept and prayed. Esther fasted and prayed. Daniel prayed three times a day. David prayed seven times a day. And we know very well the result of their prayers. I like Elijah's story in 1 Kings chapter 18. Baal's prophets were numerous. They went on calling upon their God. O Baal, hear us. Please Baal, answer us. But no answer came. Finally they gave up. Then Elijah's turn came. Yes, the world is tired. It has given up. Now it is your turn. What did, what did Elijah do? He built up the broken altars and prayed. And God answered by fire. Then all the people fell prostrate and cried, Surely the Lord is God. Yes, He is God. Verse 39. When we build up the fallen altars in our lives, Certainly, answer will come from heaven. Then every tongue will confess, saying, Surely, Jesus Christ is Lord. Philippians 2, verse 11. Let's pray. Jesus, our Lord and Master, what an incredible example you set for us regarding prayer. May I never fail to ask, seek and knock. Teach me to pray without ceasing. Help me to watch and pray that I may not fall into temptation. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Verse for the day. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, in prayer, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. God bless you. Have a blessed day.